viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter for free at itv.com. Entrants must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2pm on Thursday the 24th of December and calls made after this time won't be counted but may still be charged. So that's £100,000 in cash. What are you waiting for? Best of luck. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, the best of luck. Uh, now, he waltzed his way to winning Strictly Come Dancing last year. Now, actor Tom Chambers has swapped his sequin shirts for school books to become the new super head in Waterloo Road. Uh, Chris. You... That's a teaser for you, isn't it? it? Is yeah. So you have to explain, if we haven't been sort of following it all the way through, Waterloo Road has actually merged now, hasn't mm. it, with the private school up the road? John Foster's, the yes. posh one. So that is an integration of staff and pupils. Yes. And, uh, and uh, what sort of an effect has that had? The, the thing they're trying to do is, well, really, is that, because you've had the merger, is that you've got that beautiful clash of, of kids on both sides and it almost becomes like a battle of two different countries. Mm. And, it's, and it, the, the storylines that are involved are really, as you'd expect in real life, and trying to cope with those issues of kids that are either falling in love or hating each other. And, and you're quite a traditional teacher, aren't you? You sort of believe in discipline and being quite strict and certain regimes. Max is, he's a megalomaniac really. I mean, he, he's someone who wants to revolutionise the kind of education system. He wants to go back to the roots of Real hard, hardcore disciplinarianism, uh, disciplinarian yeah. action. Yeah, of, of like trying to get kids to, you know, sit down. To, he wants them to stand and face the wall and do press ups and kind of beat them into kind of taking it seriously. But of course, it doesn't work uh, because every child's different. Some wants the some want the the softly, softly approach of the kind of the more pastoral kind of I'm listening to you, and the others need someone to give them a bit of a boot up. But he's also uh, got a fairly troubled home life, or certainly his relationships are fairly troubled uh, and confusing and complicated. You've, you've done your you've done your research. I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, no, he is. He, he's a uh, he's actually a really dark, almost Machiavellian. Uh, he's he's, he's a na nasty bit of work. He's kind of a bit like a psychological bully, and it he get he gets worse and worse. I was really sick of him by the end. Actually, I, I actually didn't enjoy him. Uh, I, I couldn't really defend him, me as an actor, thinking, God, this guy really sucks. Because mm. uh, he, he just gets worse and worse. But most people say it's fun playing the baddie, but did you not...? It was. I relished it to begin with. I absolutely loved it. I yeah. just thought, wow. I, I, it's one of those things you always want to do. I want to really play uh, someone who you can just, you know, shout, rant and rave and t t say all the nasty things. Yeah. But then, after a while, I was thinking, maybe I prefer to make people smile rather than... Uh, really? We well, prefer... We've got another clip. Should we have a look? Yeah. Here he is. Kim, I'm so sorry. Oh, she's not happy with like him. We like it. Oh, yeah. Do you know, the kids are actually, uh, to be fair, they're, they are so incredibly, as an actor, it's a blessing because they're so natural. They're, they're not worried about, you know, kind of what they look like and all that and are they doing the right thing technically. So sometimes if you're doing the line run, you can say, sorry, was it, have you just said your line? It was like, because they, you know, they're saying it so naturally, they're the mm. best thing in it, really, because they just really have so well, much energy. Well, you have a bit of experience within the family anyway, because your sister's a teacher, isn't yes. she? Yes, <laughs> she is. We have a joke in the family, because she's actually a, she's a deputy head, and, and she's worked, you know, 15 years to get to her position, and I've just crept in, like, yeah. <laughs> say, oh, well, I'm an executive, executive head now, <laughs> so uh, I beat you to it. Um, but no, it's... Uh, I You'd be a bit of, of a... What would you be like if you were really a teacher, a bit of a pushover? I, I'd be an absolute... So, yeah, I'd be a puppy on the floor. I'd be wanting to, well, I'll come and sit down and play games, you know, really, the class clan. But I always kind of believe in that if you could inject them with the imagination, kids have so much imagination, mm. Uh, anything you teach, it's not what you say, but the way you say it. And so if you could kind of drive that bit of passion into oh, my, my, God, You've just suddenly gone back to... I can, I can feel a whack there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? A whack. Teenage whack. It, but my mum's saying it's not what you say, it's how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's when you want to say something yeah. horrible to someone. <laughs> say, don't put them down, say it nicely. But. Um, I've got to ask you about Strictly as well. Yeah. Um, who do you think is going to win? Oh, wow. Do I have to really? Well, I, yeah, I, I yeah, mean, yeah. you see... Because uh, they're both very good. I mean, R Ricky has just got the natural essence of style and yeah. grace and he's kind of got the drive there. But then you've got the brilliance of... Chris is like the, the you know, he's like the wacky, the jack-in-the-box, cheeky chappy. He could who's come just, out and snatch it, couldn't he? Well, he's, he, he's really entertaining. And I think, again, it's kind of like... It's an entertainment show as well. And, and people are going to pick up on... If you take it too seriously, you're kind of like, oh, what are you doing? Give us a lighten name. up a bit and sort of. Who? Who? Uh, Cola. 
As in that the amalgamation of their kind of Jedward. It's, it's, it's oh, that's Chris cheating. And, uh, uh, Ola, no Ola, Ola and Chris. But they call them Cola. Mm. That's uh -huh. uh, so. I, uh, I think perhaps it could just be. Oh, interesting. Yeah. interesting uh, thank you very much. We'll see you next Christmas because you only ever come in here Fucking in December. Man. It's that mulled so, wine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Waterloo Road tonight uh, on BBC One. I've been missing. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Great. Right.